all forms of exercise are beneficial for fitness, for overall health, and for stress management. But in order to get that dose of healthy stress-reducing hormones, or endorphins, you might actually need to increase the exercise intensity of your workout. How hard is hard enough and how hard is too hard? Well, you can use a heart rate monitor or you can use a scale of perceived exertion, a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being laying on the couch and 10 being your maximum effort that you couldn't even continue to exercise at. Your warm-up should feel like you're about a 3 or a 4. And then after about 5 minutes of working out, go ahead and increase your intensity. Whether you're biking, walking, running, or jogging, you want to feel like you're about an 8 on that scale of 1 to 10. You can stay there for the duration of your workout, or you can do interval training, bumping it up to that 8 or 9 level until you need a break, and then backing off and letting yourself recover to a 5 or 6 before adding resistance or increasing your intensity for another high intensity interval. So try adding some higher intensity intervals into your workouts during the week and see if it helps to increase your metabolism and decrease your stress.